Microsoft Link, setting up your new Link profile. In this lesson, you'll learn how to set up your Microsoft Link profile and use some of its great features. At the top of the screen, you can add a personal message that will be visible to others. There's a text box which reads, what's happening today? Simply click on it and the text will disappear, allowing you to create your own personal note. Status information allows you to set your own online presence, as well as see the online presence of others. This will allow you to approach your colleagues at the right time with the right type of communication. To change your status manually, click on the down arrow under your name, and click a new status from the menu. By default, everyone may view your presence, but you can change this, so only your contacts can see your availability. And you can see here on the left of the photo that there's a visual cue, much like a traffic light. Green is available, red is busy, and yellow means away. I'm going to set mine to available. Below that is your location setting, which is not set by default. However, you can change your location manually. Under status, click directly on the text, set your location. The text will disappear, and you can type your location. And if you click on the drop-down arrow, you can see my custom locations, or you could remove them. You can also choose whether or not people even see your location by unchecking Show Others My Location. When you do that, you'll see a No icon. Clicking on the cog will allow you to change many of the link options. General options, some personal ones, status. Here, you can adjust if link will show you as inactive or away based on how long you've been in idle. You can choose to have a picture of yourself. You could also choose not to, using your default corporate picture, or to show a picture from a web address. Other options are available if your company uses Link for phone or video calls. And that was how to set up your Microsoft Link profile.